Hello and welcome. This is part four of the Polish Platform Controller tutorial series and today we're going to focus on doing slides. This was suggested by um, someone in my comments called Design Your Life, so thank you for the suggestion. And what we're going to do is just basically a simple wall slide. So let's get, get into it. So I'm going to close this down and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the player and I'm going to put in the art. You'll see here that I've got the art in this project. Once again, it's will be on GitHub, so if you want to skip this tutorial, just download it and learn from doing it that way. Please feel free to, not a problem. It'll be in the description. So I want to go to the player. I want to go to your animated sprites and we're just going to make a new animation. I'm going to call it wall slide. I know it's, it looks alright around about 7 frames per second and I'm going to just drag it in as you can see we've got a nice little wall slide going on. I'm going to put this back to idle. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to the script and we're going to put in some um, variables at the top of our player. So two exported variables. Export var max for speed wall slide because we're going to fall slower than the normal gravity. It's 100. Export wall slide gravity equals 100. Don't forget to do the var again. And then we also want to have one to know if we're actually sliding that far. Is, is wall sliding bool equals false check if we're currently sliding and I'm going to do a copy and paste job here the reason is, is it's quite a complicated section and I don't want to mess it up and where we put it is right at the bottom of this of this so let's remove that because that doesn't need to be there move it down here there we go. So let me just write in logic of wall sliding here. So what's going to happen is check ground wall logic is we're just checking that we'll do all the checks to see if we're on the ground or not, if we're touching a wall or not, and then right at the bottom we'll say, hey, are we currently touching a wall? Yes, we are. We're not touching the ground and our speed is going downwards. Then we'll go to the next one. It says, well, are we pressing left or right, or is the joypad absolution greater than zero? So it means basically, are we pressing left or right on the keyboard or on the controller? And if, if all that is true, then we're going to say, well, we know we're definitely wall sliding, else we're not wall sliding, and we'll do another else we're not wall sliding down here in case this, this argument isn't true. If we don't have this, if we delete that, you can actually jump up into a wall and you'll go flying upwards. It's a, it's a bit strange. So yeah, have a look at that and make sure you take it in. It's it's really this. It's just this line of code. Sorry, these lines of code. They could be on one line, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. It, yeah, it's a little bit hefty. I'm sure it's a nice way of doing it, but I've just kind of rushed this one out. Um. Now we're going to go down to the jumping handle jumping and right near the bottom again not at the bottom though it's really important that this always stays at the bottom because it's got a yield and we're going to put it in here and we're going to just say if we're wall sliding which is from the logic we just did we want to say play any so we know we're wall sliding, so we want to play the animation off the wall slide. Another thing that's important as well is we're going to say is double jumping equals false. Uh, the reason for this is we we might not finish double jumping. So what could happen is if you double jump, we're waiting for the animation to complete. So then we say we're no longer double jumping. However, if you double jump, you could touch the wall and slide before we the animation's complete. So it still thinks it's double jumping. So we, this just negates that. And then another long one, go to the bottom, and this is going to be in the uh, do physics. And you'll see here we've got these two lines. 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group them together and I'm going to say if we're not wall sliding if is wall sliding isn't true then we'll just do the normal the normal fall right else we are wall sliding then I want to say B speed plus equals wall slide gravity times delta B speed equals min B speed max fall speed wall slide oops wall slide there we go brilliant so we're saying hey if we're wall sliding then we want to decrease our speed so we're going to use the slower wall slide gravity rather than the faster normal gravity and this way we won't just fly down when we slide onto the wall so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check see if this works yeah so it doesn't look as bad now uh, but yeah that, that seems to work you m might notice that when we're maybe uh, you wouldn't want to wall jump like that in your way it's sort of like your feet dangling off but it makes sense to me that it's basically he's holding on with his hands and that's way off all so what we can do is mess about with this a little bit I'm just going to make it so that go to my player where's wall push Oh, I'll make that 700. I want to make the wall slide gravity a little faster. Wall slide speed a little faster too. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see when I push off, it's it's like it's really strong now. Yeah, I like that. It, that feels more nice. Maybe the push is too much though. But yeah, I mean, this concludes uh, part four of the Polish platform controller. The next one will most likely be the Celestash. I know it was meant to be this one, but I wanted to do a quick one for this. Um, and after that, in part six, will be probably the last part of this series, and that will just be adding particle effects to where he stands, where he slides, and so on. So yeah, I look forward to seeing you there. And once again, thanks to Design Your Life for the uh, inspiration. Take care. Bye. -bye.